Welcome back. Today, we're going to talk about how to improve your sales marketing strategy. That's right. The overall picture of what you want to do to start marketing and selling better. Because again, marketing and sales go hand in hand. We actually have to have both these days. Door-to-door sales does not work that well anymore unless you want to be in a small defined market. Today, everybody is out on the internet, so we have to have a solid marketing strategy. So today, I want to give you a couple things that's going to help you develop your marketing strategy to help you sell better and get some more of those people coming in, okay? So number one thing that we need to do with our customers is answer the three questions. Otherwise, they're walking right out the door. First question is, do I like you? The second, do I trust you? And the third, how can you help me? Now, if we can't answer those three questions, especially the third question, well, they're walking out the door. They're going to go buy another product that's similar for the cheaper price and think of you as a commodity. And that's not what we need. So when we start working on our marketing and sales strategy, we really need to focus in on a few things. So now let's talk about the overall arching thing. We need to really think about our customers kind of like cats instead of like dogs, right? Salespeople are kind of like dogs where, oh, someone's talking to me. I'm going to come and talk to you and and jump all over you and lick your face and, and get really, really into your face, okay? That's not how customers really are, especially buying professionals in business to business relationships. They're kind of like cats, where cats are independent, they'll kind of walk up to you slowly and warm up to you, and then they'll start the interaction where you're allowed to talk with them and, and share with them. They're kind of like cats. And I got that from Brian Burns and his his podcast, which is a fantastic podcast. Now, so we want to talk to our customers and treat them kind of like they're cats. We need to cultivate the relationship. We don't just go, hi, my name is so-and-so, and boom, go right into selling, like most people on LinkedIn do today. We don't want to do that. we got to cultivate the relationship. This is a long-term play. So we want to be able to make our strategy set up where we're giving content. We want to cultivate the relationship, so we need to give stuff. The best way to be able to receive anything is with an open hand, right? You want to be able to hand stuff off to people, because if you get a closed fist, you're not going to be able to have anything handed to you. So we need to give stuff away, which is why I do these videos. I want to help you. And I'm giving all my content away for free and helping you walk through all these concepts. Okay, So we want to cultivate the relationship. Think about the people as cats. So it takes a long time to start cultivating that relationship. And once they have that relationship with you, they'll start coming to you because you're going to build that influence with them. That's right. Once you start selling to them and you're starting that relationship and you're building your influence, well, now you can actually talk to them and sell. So marketing strategies definitely need to be focused on long term. There's going to be some times where you have quick sales, but most of the time it's a long term deal. So that's why there's email campaigns, but I'm telling you right now, doing videos similar to what I'm doing here and giving this content away is going to be the best way for you to grow your influence and your customer base, right? There's also LinkedIn and all that stuff you can use. Instagram, which I tell you right now, if you get into like all these hobbies and if you're in a specific hobby, man, you need to be on the Instagram train because you got to be in there and you can cultivate an audience right in there. And there's tons of different things you can do. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all, you know, all these different video platforms, but you got to really focus in on these things. You got to answer the three questions, cultivate the relationship, treat the customer like they're a cat and go for the long term play when it comes to building your relationship and selling. Not a short-term thing. I know that makes everybody unhappy, but I'm telling you, you'll grow your influence with customers better. You'll have solid foundation and you'll be able to grow with them. And who knows? 
they may actually go out and sell you to all their friends without having to pay them. Wouldn't that be nice? So going for the marketing strategy and sales strategy, make sure you're going for the long-term play. All right. If you have any questions about how to sell and the sales process, check out the links below for my sales training. I've got an online training you can do anywhere you're at as long as you have an internet connection. And I'm here to help you guys. If you've got any questions, reach out to me. Links are below. Thanks. Hey.